Grand Finals. We have Hold That L, Silvers versus L. And here on comms, I have, we have Vinny. Hello. And we also have our man himself, Ray Z, Vic PR. Say hi. Hello, everyone. You love so it. We want to mention it. Do we know if Ernest played Lucina in winner's finals? Yes, he, he did play Lucina and it was a really tense game 5 set and Silvis oh. did um, reverse Rio Sweet. That's interesting. Vin, yeah, Vin just heard that um that Silvis reverse Rio Sweet Ernest, so he just had to come in to pull the commentary. <laughs> well, I know Ernest does struggle a bit against button heavy players or characters. Yeah. So I'm not super surprised, but he does beat Shen quite often as well, who is the premier Terry in Victoria. Yeah, no, definitely. But we do have a little bit of online to come into play as well. Yeah, um, that's true. I notice Ernest is playing really quite reserved. He's not going for up the out of shield as much to relieve pressure. Yeah. So and, um, I feel like he might be scared, which is interesting. Yeah, definitely. The oh, momentum... there we go, the RP coming out. So since you didn't watch the last set, I I'll just tell you how the momentum went. Pretty much Ernest oh, was that DI. The first set. And that then Ernest nasty like nasty DI. Super yeah. yeah, Ernest super choked game five. <laughs> so he, this might this might be residual from um, the last set. Ah, uh -huh, fair enough. Alright, good DI on the down throw. Not a lot of people can DI that properly, because you have to cross Terry up. Yeah. It's it's really weird. All the down birds and people behind you. Anyway, yeah. But, uh, is able to catch that edge guard. Very well done. Anyway, evening things out again. Yeah, pretty much just even. That's just one bomb. Lucina is not known for her super strong starting combo game. Like aside from up there, she yeah. doesn't really get much. So... Yeah, definitely not a lot of true combos, but I feel like she can get a yeah. lot of damage off the mix up. Yeah, I feel especially like juggling people combo... in disadvantage. Yeah, and I feel like every single combo, when when they yeah. finish, they're just a really weird spot, really awkward spot. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, 100%. Gonna hit. 96, oh, get... here it is. Oh, he Whoa. wanted that. Oh, so close to Yeah. Me. I think Silvis wanted to tech in, but he fell off the stage, so he ended up just walking forward. But he's yeah. gonna find the stock for Ernest anyway. Yeah, um, I'm not sure if he could have made it back there. Mm. Oh, this is a bad like, situation. Oh, this is bad. He's dead. That he's might dead. be it. Yeah. yeah Ernest's not gonna let Terry back from this situation. If he does, I'm gonna roast him. If Ernest plays his properly, <laughs> yeah. If Ernest yeah. plays his properly, he Silvis should be dead. Very, very, very nice edge guard. Right. Sixty percent on on the board. Oh, ah, yeah. yes. Just the rinse and repeat, and the, 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 that can just sort of happen to Terry sometimes. Yep. Yeah. I think if I was in um, Silvis's position, I would try to di up and get a higher launch angle and just keep recovering from up high. Yeah. Because the lower you go, the worse position you're in. Yeah, definitely. The lower you go, the more limited your recovery options are. When you are still high, you're still able to do burn knuckles, you're still able to do power dunks, that yep. sort of thing. I didn't see any, um, I think it's power wave mix-ups that you see Terry's do offstage sometimes. Oh, really? Not sure if he to, was to in a, yeah, to stall. I'm not sure if he's in a position to do it, but uh, maybe never it could really have been an Silvers option. Do that. I've never really seen Silvers do that. But that, that is definitely very interesting. Anyway, what do you think the stage pick is going to be for game two? This is going to be S Silvis's counter pick. Uh, I'm not sure how familiar Silvis is with stage theory, so maybe he'll just go for comfort picks. We'll see yeah, what the most stage likely. is. Um, I do find that Silvis tends to like FD. He did pick counter pick FD twice in the first set. Oh, FD! That's an interesting choice to say. Yeah, it's definitely Terry's... very interesting. Oh, PS2. I agree with this pick. Mm -hmm. P P I, I would agree with PS2 as well. Like, like I, you really can't go wrong with PS2 for a lot of characters. Excellent SDI by Ernest on the jab jack power. Wait, dump. he has no jump. Okay, phew. I saw him losing <laughs> jump in that combo. Yeah. If Ernest didn't know that, then he would have died. Maybe. Oh, bad situation for Silvis. Oh, Ernest oh, scattered Ernest, out yeah. that air dodge, but he didn't get the punish. 
Yeah. He was ready for it. He he was trying to get that um that that hitbox of back air that's like inside the you know? Wasn't able to get it. Yeah. Excellent zone break from um Silvers to get out of the corner there with the burn knuckle. Oh, almost got that tech roll in. Wasn't able to get the punish. A little bit too slow. Ooh, that would have a hundred percent been the stock if his timing was on oh, point. Calls him out from a mile away. <laughs> Those power dogs, he was not able to catch them that much in that first set, and they must have been buried in his mind because he just really wanted that. <laughs> this is anyway. a bad situation for Silvers right now, but Terry is the comeback character. Yeah, so he's not and... out of it by any means. But I, I find that Silvers is the most comfortable when he has that lead because he just does so well with just playing with a lead and making people panic. Ah, I see. That He's was an not incredible call out good. by the um, power guys. Yeah. Yeah. Silvers can definitely play from behind, but is definitely not his most comfortable. Back air is going to send him back off stage, taking his stock out. Do you think he could have DI'd that better? Oh, no, not with Lucina's back air. I think she could have covered any DI. Because mm. it's a huge move. I, I mean, the and actual back air itself, too, to live. Because it was uh, a back air at uh, 116, I think. Nah, he was dead. <laughs> I've seen yeah. his back air, it's just strong. Yeah, I, I just don't know how heavy Terry is sometimes. Because he actually lives from a yeah. lot of things. Anyway, I'm just... Uh, small, small lead for Ernest right now. Actually, you know what? Quite moderate. Silvis is definitely still in this game. He needs to take one a stop the... now, though. Key differences in the gameplay I can see right now is Ernest's ledge trapping compared to Silvis's. When yeah. Ernest gets Silvis at the ledge, he's just stuck there. And when Silvis yeah. gets Ernest at the ledge, Ernest kind of gets off for free a lot of the time. So I'd like to see a little bit more. <laughs> that is yeah. she probably expected to tech or something. <laughs> it can be kind of awkward sometimes trying to get a tech like that. And that is a ticket back into this game for Silvis. And he does yep. have go online. Oh, oh that's the burn that? knuckle. He he tried uh, the burn knuckle see. there, but um, yeah. I think it like moves back a little bit. Unfortunate. It might have been a burn knuckle. It might have been um a uh, crack shoot. But I'm expecting the burn knuckle more than anything. We're probably gonna see it right back here. No, this is something else. This is an instant replay of the second stock. Alright, Ernest just sends Silvers off stage. Is this a ledge trump? Yeah. Yeah, let's so trump the, there. The thing about Lucina's ledge trapping is she forces you to be patient on the ledge. And that just sets up perfectly for ledge trumps. Yeah, definitely. Lucina has a lot of options for just covering just many, many options at the ledge. F tilt, nair, F smash. The whole kit, pretty much. Anyway, we're heading into the third game, Kalos Pokemon League. Interesting pick by Silvis. I'm guessing I Ernest this... banned for Glory. Uh, not for Glory, FD. I, I find this super, super interesting because Ernest actually kind of picked to this last set. And yeah. I, I think Silvis is emphasizing too much on the platform thing because I actually feel like this is probably um, Christina favored. Definitely, if I you, agree if there. You speak quickly in the matchup. But I will say this Silvis's whiff punishing is great. He is great at catching landings. So this might be a very great comfort pick. Uh, that would make sense, yeah. And the big blast zones may help him live longer to get um, Go Meter. Yeah, definitely. He could and Silvis is <laughs> actually man. finding the first stock without even using Go Meter. Yeah, up smash. It's not like anything I would usually see Silver's kill with. He usually relies on jab jab power dunk or that burn knuckle. Never really seen him F up smash, and you, you, that's how you know he's bringing out all the stops in this set. Yep, and now goes online. We're ready to see some big damage. Yeah, sends him back off stage. The thing Ernest is, Silver find the stop right now, just as I say it. If I had to compare Silvis to Shen, Shen looks for a lot of when when he has Go Meter, he looks for a lot of confirms into his Go Meter. But Silvis, yeah. I feel like sometimes he'll just do Go stuff. He'll sometimes just throw it out, and a lot of times he'll just <laughs> run around and throw out um, power waves and then just grab you. So tell me a bit about Silvis, because I haven't heard of any Terry's in JML before. 
Um, Sil Silvis has always been the JML Terry. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think you're a little bit less active on in in JML, but he's always been a Terry main ever since like the Terry came out. Oh, okay. He's a he's a huge fighting game fan, so he plays a lot of fighting games. So he has a lot of fighting game fundamentals that transfer over. Dilvis is he... really good at um uh, hit confirming. Yeah, would you consider him one of the better players at Monash? Definitely. Or is this like an upset thing? Uh, this this is definitely an upset thing, but he's still one of the better players at Monash. Um, if I if I had to rank him on on the Victorian fifty, I would probably put him somewhere HMs. Oh. That's pretty good. Yeah. He's got quite a decent lead on Ernest right now. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, just get up, <laughs> bust the wolf. That's the Silvers. This is not just Silvers. This is what every single Terry does. I kid you not. <laughs> well, Silvers does what every single Terry does, and that's because it works. Down top, jab, jab, bust the wolf. Not going to work out. Damn, Alti got out of that. Interesting. Yeah, Dolphin Slash. Don't get him out oh, of it, but that's true. maybe jab, you can catch it next time. Jab Jab Buster Wolf is not actually true, but characters can't get out of it a lot of the time. Yeah. Because uh, they're too close to the ground to air dodge, right? Yep. Oh, Tomahawk F smash. Let's just see the ledge trap. <laughs> no ledge trap, just goes for a hard read. Yeah. Not really Silver's in style. Oh, oh that's gonna be a punish. punish. Down top burn knuckle, nice. I'm doing 25% on this Lucina right now. Silvis. Is this gonna be the start of another reverse 3 0 from Silvis if he gets it this could game. very much could be. Ernest, I can see him panicking a that, little bit. It. Oh, down that's top it. burn knuckle, that's it. As soon as Ernest hit Dancing Blade on Silvis's shield, tell that, he realized he made a mistake. That's one game down the gutter. And you saw L, he tried to delay the side Bs as well, try to like mix up um, Silvis, trying to catch him dropping shield, but that's a risk, that's too much of a risk when yeah. Silvis can just um, drop shield down tilt. I think the deciding factor in this game was Silvis maintained a lead really well, and he forced yeah. Ernest to approach, which and that's, is uh, that's not what I've been saying. the strongest point. That's what I've been saying, Silvis is the most comfortable when he gets a lead. It showed definitely in this game. So, if he... I were Ernest... Where would you take this Terry? What do you reckon? Mm. In my mind, if I think strictly the matchup, maybe FD. But if I'm thinking like in this set, maybe a PS2. Oh, uh, PS2, I don't think he can pick. Because he won on it on game two. Yeah. Maybe Smashville. I wonder what Silvis would ban though. Oh, uh, probably triplats, right? Yeah, probably triplats. So battlefield Yoshi's definitely battlefield Yoshi's is a hit or miss. That's true. The small blast zones would definitely benefit Terry. Field. Yeah. Smashville. Yeah. Told you, Smashville. I'm a god. Nah, this he, is... he just kind of picked this in um, set one, and I remembered it. So. <laughs> this is a <laughs> high one. risk. This is a high risk, high reward stage. I feel for Ernest. I think he kind of just yeah. wants to end this set. That's why he picked this stage. Um, yeah, he definitely wants to end the set and get straight back into that um, bracket reset. And you gotta remember that Silvis is the one in winners here. So even if he does lose this game, it, it's not the end of the world. Yeah. 70% on both players right now, but this matters a lot more for Terry than it does for Lucina because Ghost Force is just 16% away. Oh, <laughs> Terry. <laughs> oh, I have a pause on this man. All right, let's try I, I think that wasn't an intentional parry because he rolled immediately after, and sometimes when you roll, it can parry stuff. Oh, really? Yep. It's a really rare situation, though. Anyway, Go is online. Ernest really needs to keep this edge guard up. This Terry's oh. probably gonna die? Yeah. Yeah, that was a sus recovery right there, but he didn't really have any options. Yeah, Ernest was really just pushing him into the corner there, making him desperate to find some sort of recovery. <laughs> Ernest camping the platform right now. Wise choice. 
You don't so have to funny. deal with Terry on the ground because his burst options are fast and big. Invincible and once he gets Terry his hands on you. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Sylvus is known to just throw out Burn Knuckle sometimes. Yeah, and I think Ernest doesn't want to deal with that on Wi Fi. Yeah. That dash attack gonna find a stop there. Yeah, the just stage selection. That yeah, the stage selection coming back to buy Ernest. Small but black I, zones. But I feel like with the small stage, it just means it's that, le but that much less stage. So, like, anytime Ernest hits Sylvus, it's more likely to send him off stage. That is true, but. Like I said, there's high risk, high reward. And Definitely. in this situation, the small stage can really hurt him, because go on Smashville with Rage, oof. He has no room to run away. Anyway, go is online. I'm not expecting Silvis to do many go moves in neutral, except for now when he does a neutral get up. Oh! Excellent, Trump. Recognize Silvis was hanging on the ledge for too long again. He was hanging on the ledge for way too long. He was really just trying to like, um, see what his options were, but Ernest not giving him the space to think. He's got to make sure that Silvus has no has no time to think because the longer the set goes on, the more chance Ernest has of getting hit by some stray hit, some stray burn knuckle. I think Silvus is panicking here. He's just throwing out moves, and yeah. he's catching him in the middle of ulting. <laughs> yeah, and he got a parry F smash. <laughs> he's definitely. Yeah. I, I told you, he's less comfortable when he's behind. Yeah. So you have to see if Silvis is able to make it back. I'm not sure what the punish is there. Maybe down air? Definitely should have been a stock right there. Yeah. Yeah. Even down tilt would have hit, but I think he just barely misspaced it. Yeah. Jab Jab Power Dunk. Surprised that didn't shield poke, because normally Jab Jab Power Dunk on shield will shield poke if you keep holding. Yeah, maybe it was the positioning, but Ernest gonna yeah. clean up that stock with that F smash. And Two there stock is the three. reset. Not gonna we have allow a... the reverse 3 0 to happen again. We have a bracket reset. Let's go in the chat. Bracket reset. Let's go. Anyway, Jab Jab Power Dunk. Yeah, that didn't shield poke. Um, It didn't get the multi hit on the way up. I think that's why. Yeah, looks like it. Because sometimes um, jab, uh, Power Dunk can like hit some pe people's shield a lot, like on the way up, like a multi hit yep. sort of thing. Just didn't get it there, I think. Um, well, anyway, I, I, I think you mentioned that you wanted to do a Thug Finals against the winner of this match. <laughs> thug Finals, yes, with my Ganondorf. With your Ganondorf, who would you prefer to, to play against, Silvis or L here? I, I would imagine Silvis, right? Um, yeah, but I think it would be funnier if it was Ernest, just to see him rage after it. <laughs> I, I know you're good friends with uh, my man L here, but Silvis, you, you're not as active with the JML only members, so Silvis, I'm pretty sure oh. you wouldn't have played against him that much. No, I wouldn't have, so it would be interesting to play Silvis, actually. Yeah. I mean, I may not be active per se, but if I do get tagged in the JML Discord, I will always respond. JML yeah, but what I mean is like, you don't know the JML only, like like the, yeah. the, the ones that go to JML only tournaments as much? Yeah. So, like, I only know the more prominent JML people. Yeah. And there hasn't really been a chance to go to uni anyway recently. Yeah. <laughs> It's kind of rough. But anyway, um, Yoshi's story, off the bat, Ernest doing really, really well. I'm not sure who won RPS. I would assume it's um, Sylvis, because I don't think Ernest likes this stage very much. Um, but I do think Ernest did kind of pick this one in set one as well. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah. He hardly picks it, and I play him. Yeah, um, this might be like a matchup specific between both players. Yeah, maybe he's feeling more confident about killing, and yeah. so he's picking the smaller stages. Yeah. It helps that he doesn't have to worry about Go as much as other players, because the classic kill can firm off down tilt, jab, jab, bust the wolf, does it work on Lucina? Yeah. And oh, that was a sick air dodge read! There we go, Ernest showing his true colors right now. Just landing on the platform, F smash, and that's a very great way to set the pace for this game one. He is two stocks up against L uh Silvis right now. Near 
We're gonna be Jaja Pad on amazing Again. FBI. You saw the way he popped out. Yeah, I'd like to see Silvis go for jab jab up B more. When yeah. he knows Ernest is gonna SDI out. Oh, this might be a stop. Definitely. Um Silvis is not as adept at using the rising tackle mix ups. Oh, and definitely no. rising tackle out of shield. 94%. Ernest is just domineering this game right now. He's back off stage. Read that out. I feel like he read that. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. How do you let yourself get hit by that for the second time? <laughs> he got hit by it again, but it shouldn't matter too much because he's still in the driver's seat right now. Side beat's gonna send that Terry back off stage. Not able to find the edge guard. 132% Terry does have go. Comeback is still oh. possible. I've never Special, known Silvis to be much on that this much stage. Of a player. Power Ernest guys is just, gonna catch him. Ernest is just spamming counter right now, banking on the fact that Terry's like to press buttons. Yeah, but so Ray up the out of shield. Finally, Especially on Wi-Fi, being able to punish right? fast move like Terry's down to. I, I do know that Silvis does not tend to hit your shield, then hold shield himself. He tends to do other moves like more shield pressure, jab, jabs, that sort yeah. of thing. It's kind of expected of Terry's because their frame data is so good in close quarters. Yeah, but um, Lucina is one of those characters where you can't just hit their shield too much, otherwise you're going to get hit by that Dolphin Slash out of shield. Yeah, and looks like Silvis has learned the hard way. Yeah, game one going to Ernest and that Yoshi story pick going so well for him. I feel like he used every aspect of that stage to his advantage. And I feel like the, like the small stage factor didn't come into play where, where Terry can kill Lucino really early on Yoshi's story. Yeah, I didn't see um, Solus land any go kills. He, in, like, the, the he killed one. The neutral get up oh, bust the wolf. Neutral uh, get up yeah. bust the wolf. Of course, I forgot. Second coming. <laughs> well, if you get hit by that, you deserve it. Yeah. Anyway, up air, 51%. How am sitting here? Haven't Juggling seen the coming yeah. in. Silvis oh, is on a tail. Down. I think he was oh reading the Oh my goodness, power he's there. so mad. Look at him. <laughs> I have not seen a man more mad than the Ernest is right now. Oh, Uppy's still Great shield on the Uppy. Yeah. yeah. Recognizing right. Ernest is kind of Uppy happy right now. Yeah. Can okay, excellent SDI. Not getting hit by any Go confirm. Yeah. Is there another confirm into Go besides like Jab? Or downhill. Um, it's looking like Silvis is gonna need that right now. There, there, there might be some um, tech chases. Mm. I, I know Terry oh. can set up tech chases with now, but yeah, F tilt on um, Bustle Wolf is also a thing, I think. Yeah, F tilt Bustle Wolf as well, and I think that one might be true on um, Lucina. Yeah, but I, I think you have to um, do a sliding, don't you? The F tilt. Um, no, but the input is quite difficult, if I remember correctly, because yeah. you have to do it buffered, and Buster Wolf is not an easy input to buffer. Yeah, and, and so definitely like, F, F tilt is pretty fast as well. Yeah. So it's hard to like, like you gotta know for sure the F tilt's hitting. Yeah, so the thing about jab is you can start buffering it as soon as the first jab, and then you just make the jab slow, so yeah. you can buffer the whole move, but... For F tilt, it might take a oh, long time. Oh my gosh. Oh, neutral no. gets up into that. Oh, so the thing about sh shield breaker at ledge is that it can actually cover roll and neutral get up with the tight yeah. spacing. And then so uh, ledge the hang situation. too, right? Yeah, but I think if he was going for ledge hang, it wouldn't cover roll. Yeah. But it can be hard to know in the, in the moment like which one it yeah. is covering. Especially with such a scary move like Shield Breaker, you kind of panic a lot of the time. Yeah. But anyway, Silvers and the entire stock down against Ernest. Ernest going for more Shield Breakers. Really looking for that opportunity. F Tilt's gonna catch that power dunk in the air, catches his jump. <gasps> Got that air dodge read. F Smash isn't gonna connect. Silvis is trying to find his way back into this game. Burn Knuckles gonna send that Lucina off stage. Oh. Alright, Silvers. Maintaining stage control, not giving Ernest too much space right now, but he's... Cool. What, what, oh. what do you reckon Silvis is going to run off stage for down here, in this game? I, I, I can feel oh. it happening, I don't know why. Maybe once My... he takes this stock? Oh, never mind, Ernest finds the stock mind. instead. But my my competitor instinct is telling me that Silvis will go for a down here one of these times. Definitely, he's on the ropes, he has to make something happen. 
because he's got to make... Yeah, he's definitely got to make something happen. He's got to make some sort of play to get to just be earnest on this rage right now. And I feel like that down is one of those options available to him because what yeah. he's doing right now isn't working. Or even just like confirm at ledge near into down air, which I haven't seen him use at all. Uh, I've, I've, I've never seen that confirm. I don't think I've seen Silvers use that confirm either. It's a it's really strong confirm. It's Nair, not confirmed. Just using Nair in general, um, I don't see Silvis use Nair at all. It can be kind of scary to jump and Nair against um, Lucino. Yeah. I, I do know against me he does Nair a lot, but um, I, I haven't seen him jump at all against Lucino, really. I guess it wouldn't be wise to challenge Lucino in the air, so that's fair enough. Yeah. He just seems more content with um, his dash dancing and his movement, just to um, yeah. catch whiff punishes, his grounded game. But uh, anyway, Nair is one of Terry's best combo tools, especially considering Ernest is SDIing out of a lot of his. Yeah. Anyway, we are game three. Ernest up 2-0 in this bracket reset. So if he does take this game, he is gonna take the tournament. Silvers has oh, to make another reverse 3 0 sweep. Don't don't you forget a bustle, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ernest was holding shield. You, you knew he was ready for it. <laughs> Oh, looking for the jabs. Yeah, he's, he's panicking a little bit. Yeah. Oh, Ernest was ready for that platform recovery. It was way too obvious of an option. Yeah, it, it, it's like bait. Like a, a carrot on a stick is just like, hey, look, here's a platform. Recover <laughs> to it. And he just covers it. It's so tempting to recover to that platform, too. Yeah. Because it's not always there. So, like, whenever it's there, you just look at it and you're just like, ooh, that's something I can go to. <laughs> It's like you, you can skip the ledge trapping phase and just go straight onto a platform. Yeah. Especially with Ernest's ledge trapping. Anyway, Don't catching him with there. a stray power dunk in neutral didn't look like much of a call out. Looked like he, he just went for it. Yep. And those are the sort of those, those are the sort of things that Silvis needs to hit, but it's not something you can rely on for a oh, set. Shield <laughs> Wait, what's he got? Just off. F smash? Oh, just F smash. Looks like he's Wouldn't not be like... going for any combos. Wouldn't there be like some down air combo there? Yeah, like down air into falling up air. Or just like a nair combo at least. Yeah, or like falling up air to start with. Yeah, Silver's not looking confident at all right now. Yeah, but at, at least he, he didn't like go for something and fail it. Like yeah. at least F smash is guaranteed damage. And it looks like that shield break has shook Ernest. Because now <laughs> Silver's yeah. is the one with the lead. Yeah. Wow, that down smash and you could, is really safe. You could say that Silvis might have been scared to do any of these combos because um, Dolphin oh. Slash is a combo breaker. Yeah, that's true. I'm not gonna kill there, but this is a terrible position Ooh. for Silvis. Yeah, you saw L, like, he's covering that platform so, so well. Not letting that platform be a factor in Silvis's recovery. L's oh, edge guarding so much better. With the down tilt into, um, I forgot the, what the move was called. Buster Wolf? Or Burn Knuckle? Burn Knuckle, that's it. Yeah, he missed that because it is actually a tight confirm from down tilt. You have to buffer it in the middle of a move to cancel the end lag. If you do it yep. too late, then you'll just get the down tilt end lag by itself. Yeah. That's how a lot of Terry's moves work. But anyway, he's down an entire stock right now. Last stock situation for Silvis. If he loses now, then oh. he's gonna lose this set. F smash. Ugh, a bit ambitious. Don't. Yeah. Oh, down air. Was it kill sparks? That was kill sparks. <laughs> Power geyser. All right. Dude. And here Power geyser it is. Coming through. Connor's favorite spot to be. 100% <laughs> down. Last stock situation. Go move oh, is online. This might be it. Oh, Ernest. <laughs> oh, no! Did he just miss the ledge and, like, oh, panic? Oh, he SD'd. Yeah, I think he thought he was going to grab the ledge. You no! You, oh, everyone hates to see it. The chat hates to see it. Oh, this, oh, my grand finals. Oh, well, to be fair, I think Ernest did get the download by then. And yeah. to bring it back from that position is going to be a really huge mountain to climb.
Yeah, game game one and two were definitely stomps by Ernest, but I feel like that game three, Silvis was starting to get some sort of like um momentum going back into that last slot. Yeah, I feel like the shield break helped him a lot. Yeah. Anyway. All right, so now I think I have to do Thug Finals with Ernest. Yep. All right, we're gonna end it there. Games. <laughs>